Welcome everybody, this is Bulldog here with a little bit of a different format today. That is because I'm on vacation. I do not have a lot of my equipment with me, but I still wanna get some content up for you guys. So we're gonna have a bunch of mobile videos here coming, coming straight to you. Today we're going to look at a beginner's guide on how to protect against sneak. There are a lot of situations where you might expect sneak, maybe just from scouting your opponent if they play a bunch of sneak cards. If there's a rule set where it's only melee, one of the best ways to get melee to attack from the back line is by using sneak. Or if there's a rule set super sneak where all melee characters have sneak, there are various different reasons you might expect sneak to come at you. So we're going to look at different strategies to def to defend against that. What characters can you put out there on the battlefield to help counter sneak so i found this battle here this is perfect because we have where all melee characters have sneak and only melee characters are allowed so you're going to see everybody out there with sneak both these guys were expecting a ton of sneak because that that's the only thing you can stick out there so they've got a ton of counters we're going to look at a bunch of these first let's look up up top at our serpentine soldier so one of the ways is dodge it's got dodge and fairly decent speed remember almost all of your sneak attacks are going to be from melee characters there are a few um there are a few magic attacks that have sneak there is actually some range attacks that have sneaks but the vast majority are going to be melee so you saw i got a few dodges there he also has shield which is going to reduce that incoming damage and he has thorns which is going to dish out a little bit of damage back down here on the bottom in our our first character there we have a taunting tank shield bearer is an outstanding standing tank um when you have taunt they have to target you so that sneak is basically basically overridden they're all going to target the front and then shield bearer has that shield so he can absorb a little bit extra damage we kind of talked about that shield already so he is a tremendous option if you're if you're expecting some sneak now back in the back we've got look at look at that hydra going crazy with the tra with the trample and the retaliate hydra is is amazing because he has Thorns, which we, we we already talked about, has the retaliate. So when you get a melee attack, it's going. You've got a fifty percent chance to attack back. He also has a heal, so he can absorb a little bit more damage, or he can rest, I guess restore that damage. Down the bottom, Chanceus also has triage, which is another way to replace some of that health for a backline character. So heals and and triage can can be great uh, as well. So a ton of different sneak counters on on both sides in this one video. So that uh, that was that was really cool. This is a perfect perfect video for you guys to to see this here as finally hydra dies hydra is so uh so so good one of the most expensive cards in the game of course but is very good and you this this battle is high level but it doesn't have to necessarily just be just be at diamond at champion league whatever you can use some of these same strategies on bronze silver characters what whatever the case is you're just not going to have all these abilities at, at once but you can still take these abilities and use them in the lower level battles it's just very easy here at this high level to show off a ton of them at once a ton of them in a single battle so you guys can really see some different things to counter sneak you might have to go back and watch this battle a couple times just to see everything that's going on but that is a great great battle to to show you guys how to defend against sneak when you're expecting it so let's uh let's show a, a few more though that's not the only one and let's break out one of these new cards here this one was exciting to see because in the back we have pelicor deceiver so we've talked about how dodge can be helpful so pelicor deceiver is going to have a decent dodge chance here with the flying with a decent speed he's got retaliate which we've we've talked about already but with that dodge there's also backfire backfire is a way to return some of that damage back right there so when you get that dodge you also do additional damage so that's why he can be very very good in that in that back line so down here at the bottom we don't really have necessarily an anti-sneak character in the back but what, what they do have is a ton of armor so they're getting armor from their summoner they they're getting a total of plus five armor it looks like here and again because most of your sneak is going to be physical damage they have to go through that 
through that armor. So that's provided a decent cushion here. Also provided a decent cushion from some of those backfires, some of those retaliates uh, as well. Pelcor Deceiver wasn't able to actually get through anybody, but he was able to do some damage. And I just realized we, we missed a chicken kill. Chicken, you had a chance to be famous in the video. This is the second video guide I've done where we had a chance to get a chicken kill and the chicken missed it. I didn't even I didn't even realize that. I was I was looking at this video for the sneak and was not paying a bit of attention to the chicken. That's a that's a shame that we missed that chick missed that chicken kill. All right, um, uh, I'm getting getting this straight. Oh, we're gonna get it. We missed it again. We missed a chicken kill again. Okay, so for those of you who have not watched my streams, chicken kills are special because we do giveaways whenever we get a chicken kill. That's one of the most exciting things in Splinterlands for me is getting a chicken kill. We play we play some party party chicken music. We give away some right now it's giving away untamed packs. It won't always always be that, but we do giveaways with the with the chicken kills. So absolutely come check out my live streams on YouTube or on Twitch. The links are in the description. So uh, I got a little sidetrack there, but, but the, the, the the sneak counters were, were kind of done at that point. We've got Lord of Darkness up front, who is actually a good anti-sneak character as well with that retaliate, with the with the enrage and retaliate. And and the shield as well. So the Lord of Darkness can be can be a very good character. Right here is in the front, but can work very well in, in the back as well on that one. So that, that's a second video. Let's uh, let's just show one more example here where, where we've got some anti-sneak in play because once again, this is using the sneak rule set. I was searching for battles with the sneak rule set because that's an easy way to see people trying to counter uh, counter sneak. And although, although you don't necessarily always want to play to that rule set because that can be predictable, I'll talk about that here, here in just a second, but let's look at it. So we've got Hydra up on the top. We've seen that before. Down on the bottom, one of my favorite characters to stick in the back line, even if I'm not expecting Sneak, but just to be back there, is, is Poseidon because Poseidon does high range damage with Blast. So like a lot of these, a lot of times, okay, you wouldn't normally stick Hydra, for example, in the back line if you're just in a normal battle because he can't attack. Yeah, he's great at anti-sneak and protecting the back line, but if they don't use any, any attack or any sneak attack, you've kind of just wasted somebody back there. If you have somebody like a Poseidon, you have that shield, so he can take a lot of damage, but he's not wasted if there's no sneak because he still does high high damage, uh, high blast damage with, with a ranged attack. So it can be, can be very good. And then he, ha, Hobgoblin up there is a character I really like when you can, when you can sneak because he can get all that damage in with that double strike. Normally doesn't have much health to stick him up front, but that's a good character there. But you're going to see a victory for magic down at the bottom where they didn't take advantage of the rule set. Really. They didn't stick any melee characters in there that uh, that could get that sneak in because sometimes sometimes it's better not to use that rule set because okay they put hydra in the back to kind of defend against that sneak but hydra wasn't able to get any retaliates wasn't able to use that thorns so you had somebody that was prepared to defend against that melee sneak hitting that back line and then they threw the exact opposite at them they went with high magic damage and and didn't even play into that sneak so uh, I wasn't necessarily focusing on how to how to play the specific rule set. It was more about defending against sneak, regardless of where you see it. But I did think that was kind of interesting and something that I wanted to point out because it's not always the best strategy to to play right into what the rule set does because your opponent's going to expect that and going to have a counter. So sometimes you just want to counter the counter, if that makes sense. So anyways, you guys are going to see some more videos from me this week where you won't see me on camera, but I will hopefully get some useful information out there. I'll be back next week doing my normal thing, doing my normal streams. No streams this week, but they will be back, I promise. So stay tuned for all of that. I'll see you guys later.